Hi everybody, I'm Doug Young. Uh, I'd like to uh, give it a little demonstration of uh, an approach that I've come up with for dealing with the holidays. Basically, uh, Christmas time is always tough for guitar players because it's a nice time to play Christmas music and you may be asked to play at a party or an event or just for the family around the fireplace. Um, but you may not have a lot of material ready because Christmas season is pretty short. So you probably, even if you work up a bunch of arrangements, by the time you've got them under your fingers and ready to play, at least anything of any complexity, the season's probably uh, over. And then uh, the next year comes around and you've forgotten them, so you have to start all over again. So because of that, uh, what I found was that it was nice to have a bunch of arrangements handy that are so simple that I could pull them out and play them uh, on the fly, reading the music, reading the tablature, and uh, improvise a little bit and embellish them to create full arrangements. So rather than try to remember, you know, a long, complicated arrangement, I simply read a very short, simple arrangement that can fit on one page, and then I can sort of just play around with those and, and change the timing, change the way I arpeggiate chords and so on, to try to create a more interesting arrangement as I repeat the tune multiple times. Uh, so I put a bunch of these in a book that I just uh, released called The Dadgad Christmas because all the songs are in dadgad tuning. It's also one of the other keys I found to being able to do this. Uh, I, I use a lot of different tunings, but if you're doing uh, playing at a party or something, it's not really very uh, convenient to change tunings very often. So you could use standard tuning, but for me, a lot of my stuff is in dadgad. Uh, Dad Gad is a tuning I'm pretty comfortable with, so I wanted to have an arrangement, uh, a collection of Christmas tunes in Dad Gad tuning that I could pull out, not have to retune between songs, not have to turn pages as I play them, and yet be able to play, you know, a full-length arrangement. Uh, so I want to demonstrate one of the tunes for you and just uh, show you how that approach might work. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Away in the Manger, which is one of the tunes in the book. And this was also uh, run in the December 2013 issue of Acoustic Guitar Magazine. So if you want to find the uh, the music for that, you could pick up uh, that, that issue. Uh, or my book's available if you'd like. Uh, but this should be pretty obvious without even looking at the music. First thing I did was just work out the basic melody, the most basic chords, playing the bass lines make it as simple as I possibly can so that I can pick this up and read the tablature or the notation, depending on which you prefer to read, um, uh, uh, without having really even practiced it. So let's try Away in the Manger exactly the way I wrote it. So hopefully that uh, sounds nice enough and you could uh, get away with playing that as a performance, uh, whether it was uh, in church or just uh, for your family, uh, or a, even, a, even a, a performance of some type. But um, that's only one time through and it's a pretty short tune. So what do we do from there? Well, what I decided to do, like I said, is just keep it so simple in the music, in the written music, that I can read and... Um, I'm mostly mostly created these arrangements with the idea that I'm playing relatively full chords. And so I can pretty much play anything else I want interspersed with the melody. Arpeggiate chords, maybe add little grace notes, add little fills. And uh, I can look at the music as an outline. It's like a fake book. It's like playing a uh, fingerstyle fake book. So let me uh, try just uh, sort of improvising through this. Think of this as being what I might do on the second verse. And I'll just add some things as I go. Now, the other thing you can do to expand these out is uh, that you could simply 
uh, add an introduction. Could be as simple as just uh, arpeggiating a, a chord. This is in G, so I might just start out on a G chord. You could play through this tune and just play the chord changes one time through and just sort of uh, improvise and play, play chord patterns and shapes. Uh, and you can add uh, additional little things. Keep it simple. And you don't have to work much out, and then you can do it on the fly without having to be too prepared. So, for example, for an intro, maybe uh, maybe I would just start on this G chord. It's a nice G add 9 chord. And maybe I would just play some arpeggios on it. Sort of like that. So, uh, hopefully uh, this gives you some ideas whether you want to try this out with the Christmas arrangements I've come up with, or if you want to create your own arrangements, whether for Christmas, uh, pop tunes, anything, just try to create a bare bones arrangement and build up your own fake book, your own gig book of these songs that you can go out and then elaborate on on the fly. Hope that gives you some ideas and uh, hope you uh, enjoy playing some Christmas tunes. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.